and Valerie here. I wanted to do a planner update as you can see. I recently got this planner mid-August. This is the Franklin Covey Ava in the compact size. If you guys have seen my old planner videos, I was in a uh, like a $13 day one Franklin Covey binder that I got from Walgreens like 13 years ago. Actually more than that, 14, 15 maybe years ago. So I got this off of either Amazon or eBay, I can't remember, but I'll post the link in the description box. I got it from the scratch and dent section and there's really nothing wrong with it, but it was much cheaper. Originally this costs $80, it is genuine leather, it's kind of pebbled, very pretty. It has a magnetic clasp, but it's very strong. And I paid $25. If I got it on eBay, I paid shipping as well, so it was a little more, but I can't remember exactly. All that information will be in the description box. So I wanted to go through this with you and show you how I have it set up and what I'm using. Here I keep just a coupon and my daily Bible study, which is the BSF or Bible Study Fellowship International um, thing. You can check that out. I'll post that on the link. I'll post that link in the description box as well. And I also keep a regular sheet of paper, paper excuse me, folded in quarters with my current ongoing shopping list for groceries and household items. As I need to add to it, I just go ahead and add to it. And I have some post-it notes here. This has a section for your ID and one, two, three, four other cards, which I don't really keep in there. I just keep the post-its because I actually use them. I keep a highlighter and a pen. This is the Pilot Precise V5RT pen. I really like how this writes, so that's the only pen I use in here. And the highlighter I don't use all the time. This is mainly in my planner during school. Uh, I homeschool my kids and I use this planner to plan everything from home to homeschool to appointments, everything is in here. So this first thing, as I said, is a poem. And right here I have a, a little zipper pocket. It has the most current ultrasounds of my current pregnancy. I am in my the end of my fourth month right now. Behind that, I have some coupons. And then I have my year at a glance right behind this. Oh, I forgot to mention. I have these little journaling cards that I put some stickers on and laminated and punched holes to go in here. I think I have four of them in here. And this one is just in the year at a glance section. So I printed this out. I think I might have printed this out from Filofaxi and shrunk it down to fit. I will post that link in the description box. Anything I have links to, I will post. This is a freebie, so I just put a sticker on each month that has passed. We're currently in October. And behind that, I have a sticky note reminding me what I'm using my little market dots for, like a color code on my monthly uh, view. And then here I have uh, the schedule when I was pre-planning our homeschool breaks. So I have that there, but I don't really use it here. I have it planned out somewhere else that I actually use. So here's the months, and I have a tab here that shows me which month we're on. And this is just a clear laminated sheet that I didn't put any paper between. I put the tab on the outside of the laminate so that way I can take it off. They're removable, I believe, Avery tabs that I have here. So here you can see all the colors of the market dots. Red is always appointment for me. Here, blue, which I normally don't use for wrestling tournament, I put there as a wrestling tournament. So I have this through. October. This is a printout, a printable that I created and I printed out myself because I switched over mid-August from a happy planner. I tried that for 
the beginning of this year till probably mid-June and it just I, it wasn't working for me functionally so I, I had to figure something out and I went back to my original Franklin Covey binder and I really enjoy it it works for me so I wanted to get a prettier kind of an upgrade on my binder since I had that one so long and it still is in really good condition I I'm not gonna get rid of it I love that uh, binder as well anyways I have these through December and I put little notes here for things that might happen or are tentative so that way I don't have to like scratch out too much because these boxes are so little. So here's through December and then here I still have September's daily pages in here. Here's another one of those journaling cards. Start each day with a grateful heart and I put a bunch of coffee on there and hearts. I'm grateful for my coffee each morning. And then on the back it says, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. And I just put a few stickers on here that I have from the Happy Planner stickers. I only have like three of the books, so I use that. Okay, my dailies are also th um, dailies that I created on my computer and printed out myself. I modeled them after the Franklin Covey Day on Two pages. If you guys have seen my previous Franklin Covey Planner, you know that I was hand drawing my inserts and to mimic the day on one page. But now um, that I'm planning my homeschool in here as well, I like the two days per page because I can have plenty of space to plan everything in here. So this is the index and once I run out of space, I just pop in a post-it note and finish off my index there and I even go to the back if necessary. And here you can see the down two pages. It's pretty much the same layout as the um, Franklin Covey pages, except it doesn't have the quote every day and it doesn't have the tracker here. I just have a blank box. So I have the daily to-dos, the time slots, a blank box, and then a page for notes. Here at the top, I write the daily scripture from my Bible app. I use the U version. And here, this tab says tracker. Right in front of it, I have my third journaling card. I put, you've got this, live loud, get to work, seize this day, and then high five on the back. And I keep this in front of my monthly tracker, and this tracker marks the daily pages for the current month. Again, I like it to be clear because then I can see what's on either side. The same with the month. I don't want to have a divider that has an image because then I can only see half of the month at a time. I want to be able to see the whole thing. So here I have a tracker. This is a freebie and I can't remember where I got it from, but I saved it to my computer and then I screenshot it so that way I can put the image of it on a pages document and put like 16 of them on a document and then I printed it back in front. So that way I can just keep a bunch of them in my planner as minis and not a whole page. I will post the link to the person who created these um, in the description box with everything else. And this habit tracker is also a freebie and this one has the, the website right on it. It's from morningmotivatedmom.com. I shrunk it down to fit my planner, but I kept it as a fold out. So that way it wouldn't be too tiny and I just wrote October here, even though it has the October circled over here. I have it as a pullout. And on the back of it, it's blank. I wrote like a hybrid workout schedule for T25 and Pio Beach Body workouts that I have, but I haven't really been following this, so I might just type this up, this hybrid, and put it in my notes section in the back. We shall see how that works. Right behind the tracker is my current dailies. So I have the October index, which I haven't started indexing yet, and then the actual day on two pages. So here you can see how I plan my homeschool right in my planner. And then over here, I use the same highlighter to mark the times where I'm actually teaching um, 
or doing something with the homeschool with the boys. Any other time during the day, they're doing their independent work, but I wanna know about how long homeschool takes up of my time because it doesn't take up the whole day for me. It may take up the whole day for my kids depending on how focused or how much they play that day. Okay, so here I have, I put little reminders, like this doesn't really need to be in, like written permanently in my planner. This is a reminder of when my my larger rings should be arriving and since it's arriving within like a week time I don't know exactly what day to expect it so this kind of moves day to day so that way if it doesn't come today I can put it out one or two more days and it'll remind me like hey keep an eye out for the mail they should be here I have this Franklin Covey um, page finder and it's clear I just keep a couple of um, post-its on it this post-it is an upcoming videos like with five or six YouTube videos that I want to keep in mind right now I have a longer list in my notes section and I have a R E U which means record edit upload and as I'm in the process of each thing I will put a little check here I have this is how I do my reminders so if I have a weekly bi-weekly, monthly, six months, annual, whatever, however often I need to redo this task, I will write the task and then write in parentheses how often it needs to be repeated. And then if I do this today, like it says, die, die browse. If I do this today, then I'll take this post-it and two weeks out from today, I will put it on the second Monday from today. The same thing with bathe Dior, that's our dog. If I bathe her today, I will put the reminder for two weeks ahead to remind me again that, hey, I need to bathe the dog again this week. And inside the um, page finder, this actually, I keep it upside down, but this is meant to hold the compass card for the Franklin Covey, which I don't use, I've never really used them. I've always kind of put my own thing in here. And I have a currently reading, I'm reading like five or six books. I have two shows and a movie that I'm interested in. So if my husband and I get some downtime and we're like, hey, let's sit down and relax and watch TV or something, I can have something quickly to be like, oh yeah, let's watch this. I have a couple reminders. And then on the back, I have like a running to-do list. So these aren't things that have an immediate uh, due date, but if I have some extra time or something and I I think I can get something done that that's there to remind me I try not to really keep the sticky notes on this so that way I can see the page the, the little thing that's in there all the time but because this is something these are things that I've kind of been putting off I want to focus on them and these things on this little paper aren't really imminent or time sensitive they're more like reminders so I don't really need to see that every single day these things are bright and in my face so I want to see it every day and be bothered by it until I finally do the task because I've been putting off these tasks for like six days in a row and now it's starting to get on my nerves okay again my homeschool I have our group work my oldest my second oldest and then my two fourth graders and then I have the rest of the area for notes if I don't use the space for homeschool that's on the weekends then I will journal. For the week, I do go ahead and schedule out my homeschool for the whole week and any appointments and uh, to-dos, like put the trash can down to the road the night before trash pickup, what Bible chapters I'm reading the next day, I plan that out for the week. Um, these things that aren't 100% sure, I keep on the sticky note and write it on the day that I actually do it and then move the sticky note as needed I'm trying to find a blank here are two reminders like my husband's work schedule and my homeschool to do's like my teacher planning to do's that I need to do each week I keep them on Sunday that's typically the day that I plan for the next week and then I will put them on my desk and write in his schedule for the next week do all my things on the weekly to do's and then move these to the following Sunday here is a blank, mostly blank, day on two pages. The only thing I have on here is that it's 
trash and recycle pickup. So it's very plain, it's not pretty or anything, but these mimic the Franklin Covey Down two pages, which I already purchased for 2020 and I'm so excited to use, I cannot wait. There, I bought the blooms. Again, they're very pretty. I don't really need to use stickers or anything like that. As you can see, I'm not really big on stickers. I use them occasionally, but it's not a must. So I like that the, the blooms are pretty so that if I don't have stickers to put down, it's fine. All right, so here on this third tab, I have my notes section and I apologize, my little one just joined me so I may have a little bit of <laughs> interruption by him. So I have the notes and I keep all of them in alphabetical order. So I have things like analytics, my Bible reading, books I wanna read, a record of my diaper covers for cloth diapers that I have and are in use, um, my dog, a homeschool pullout, and hurricane prep. So it just have a bunch of notes here. Uh, memberships that we may be interested in, movies, my PIMS are Spanish, learning thing, projects we're working on with the house, pregnancy tracker or keeping update with my pregnancy weight my YouTube, and then some blank paper for the notes. Behind this, I have another journaling card. It says, you'll never regret being kind, and I put some heart stickers. And then on the back, it says, life is lovely, let's go, a camera with a heart, and yay. And then I laminated it and put it in there. In this zipper pouch, I have those little mini trackers. Again, look for that link in the description box. It's actually a full page, but I shrunk it down and I also have those little small slits of paper to put in my daily finder. I also keep my homeschool sinking fund in here. It's, I don't keep anything substantial in here, but I keep it clipped to an index card and on the back of this index card, I write when I add to it or take away from it and what I spent that money on. Behind this zipper pouch is another plastic insertable I've had these pouches for years. They came with my day one Franklin Covey planner that I got from Walgreens. And I keep my massage therapy business cards in here. And this has a secretarial pocket and a little zipper here. The zipper is gusseted, so it opens up pretty nicely. And in here, I have a few business cards, my massage therapy license, my mini one that I keep with me all the time in case I need to work. I can validate, um, that I am in current standings with my state. I have a single stamp here and also this little mini hair dye thing. So that way when I go to the store to repurchase, I know which one it is, what the box looks like and everything. So I just keep those in there. And then in this back pocket, I keep my market dots which I've had for oh my gosh probably six years now and I haven't run out yet I don't use them like a whole lot they've been sitting here unused for a very long time but I still have them and this is what I use on my monthly calendar so I can pinpoint all my appointments and wrestling tournaments or in, currently in blue so stuff like that I have some important information for an appointment that I need to uh, go to next week a health health appointment for my pregnancy then I have this thing that I need to renew my fingerprints for my massage therapy uh, Florida board license and then this other thing for an, another appointment that's coming up in like three months so it has the appointment date on it which of course I already have in here but it's kind of like also an ID card so I have to hand that in at the front desk when I arrive for that appointment and that is everything on this in this planner here's the back of it the leather is very nice and soft that it, it has a board in there so it's not floppy and the um, buckle here can move so if I need the strap to be a little bit longer which I might when I remove these smaller rings and I will do another video on that soon when I replace the rings with the 1.25 inch rings instead of keeping these three quarter inch rings so this can move there's actually three spaces here right now it's in the second space I hope I'm in the frame 
Right now it's in the second space. I can move it to the first one for the most room or even the third one, which will not work for me right now. For now, the second space works. I still have enough space and I don't need to move it. I love how this looks. The magnet is really nice. It has a little cute design on it, which is <laughs> not really important, but it's nice. I stay tuned when I do the ring exchange i will record that and share it for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye